naturally selenium rich area. Uh, selenium is a element of the periodic table that's of interest because it is um, both essential and toxic to animals. And so it didn't really get in, we, we as like people weren't really interested in until like the 80s I think due to some actual unnatural uh, occurrences of it from like mining and some agricultural stuff. But uh, here we have, there's a lot of selenium and it's uh, naturally occurring. So our, our project is focused on, at least this aspect of it is focused on looking at how it's being taken up by these plants that are in this area because it also is, it's not been shown to be toxic by plants, are not essential to plants so that we don't really know that they need it to survive. But just like with animals, it can be really toxic at these pretty low concentrations. And so we basically just want to look at these plants with some, some different forms of elemental analysis to see the levels of selenium in them. And then not just in the plants themselves, but in the different tissues. And then from there, there's been some other work, but we kind of ultimately want to be able to compare how the selenium is getting into them. For example, there we have two species that we looked at, uh, Stragulus rasmosus and Stanley pinata. pinata. Uh, they actually accumulate and hyperaccumulate selenium, so they actually take it up in these like really, really large quantities. And it's that's part of the problem is because when like livestock or something, a cow comes along and eats these, it's so much selenium that it does like surpass that toxicity level and they die a lot of the time. And so uh, we there's plants that grow like right next to us. Like for example, here's a Stanley pinata. It's a hyperaccumulator, but right next to it, as you can see, is a uh, big sagebrush Artemisia, Artemisia tridentata. And um, since these plants take up lots and lots of selenium, they're going to, you know, redeposit it when, like, over time, and that's part of part of what we're looking at is seeing. Since there's the selenium-rich area and there's these selenium-rich plants, even richer, we kind of want to look at the plants that are just in the area and how they're being able to take it up, and then look at kind of in respect, like in relation to the selenium hyperaccumulators and the non-accumulators and see how they're interacting basically and see like if if there are some advantages or disadvantages that we're seeing from selenium levels or if they have some sort of mechanism for controlling how much they can actually take up how much they do or don't take up from both the just the soil and from next to the plants Um, and so, yeah, we do have results. So, <laughs> uh, you can, we actually used two different methods for the elemental analysis. We used a inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectroscopy, or ICPAES, or just ICP for short. And then uh, we used a total fluorescence, total reflection X-ray fluorescence, or XRF, or TRXRF, and. Uh, Generally, what we found is from from the same from the same dissolved solution that we prepared, uh, the XRF seems to have lower selenium values than what we get from the ICP. Um, but a, a major problem that we suspect from that is that the XRF has a higher detection limit. So that is, um, it like there's there's a background with like any spectroscopy that you're going to see and so it's the basically the the software's job that comes with the equipment to be able to pull out the chemicals that it can read and so the basically the XRF has a harder time doing that for these lower concentrations and so that's yeah that's kind of what we are seeing but it's we we see some other interesting results from um the uh, some of our non-accumulators and our accumulators, uh, like Opuntia, is a, a non-accumulator from from the other one species that has been looked at, and uh, it's got similar levels of selenium it, to that this other one, 
And uh, Artemisia, it's only been looked at one other time that we know of for selenium, and it's got like a lot, lot higher levels than previously known. Mm -hmm.